everyone and welcome back to Stamp with Anna and today I'm going to show you a uh, note card I'm making it's a, going to be a package of six note cards that will be a, a gift to someone and I thought this was um, a cute stamp set to use it's new in the ha in the annual catalog but I haven't used it yet it's called crafting forever I'm going to use this one here the pens I have some ideas in my head about what I'm going to do with the rest of these, but for today I'm just going to use the pens, and that's how I um, made those pens there. They're embossed in copper, and then from the Better Together set, which I use all the time, it's a two-pack set, I'm going to use this one here, just a note. They are note cards, so I thought that was um, a good um, sentiment. And then for tools, I'm just using the a layering ovals and I'm using the second and third largest ovals to make this punch out in the frame and uh, we'll be using some copper embossing powder and for paper oh let me show you here I'm using the note envelopes it's the note cards that come in a set with envelopes and this is the envelope that comes with it. and I thought I'd add a little touch nice touch to it so Using the Early Espresso, which is the paper I'm using, I used Early Espresso ink and I decided to decorate the back of the um, envelope as well to give it a nice finished look. But let me get back to what our supplies are. Uh, these are the um, pre-cut, pre-scored note, note cards that come in a pack um, from Stampin' Up! and they do come with the envelopes. If you are making your own, this is thick, very vanilla. These do come in very vanilla and whisper white. And today I'm using the very vanilla. This is five by seven scored at three and a half. So if you're making your own note size card, that is the measurement. Then we have a piece of early espresso, which is cut at three and an eighth by four and five eighths. Then we have a piece of Very Vanilla, which is cut at three by four and a half. And then I have a small piece of the vellum, which is cut two and seven eighths by three and three quarters. So the first thing we're going to do is make our hole. We're gonna um, die cut our oval out. So in order to do that, I do recommend that you use a repositionable adhesive because you are going to end up taking these two pieces of cardstock apart. So what you're going to do is just put a little bit of adhesive on that and then center this very vanilla up and onto the early espresso and press. Now taking the smaller of the two ovals I'm going to go over to the Big Shot and I'm going to die cut this out. Now this is two pieces of paper so when I die cut it I'm going to go back and forth and back and forth so I know for sure that this is going to come up. I'll be right back. Okay so it worked. I went back and forth and back and forth and it worked beautifully. So now I have these two pieces of paper and I am going to gently remove that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this larger oval and I'm going to center it up on this and I'm going to go run this through my big shot and that's how I'm going to make my frame. I'll be right back. Okay and here is my frame. I'm going to put that aside because I don't need that just yet. Now what I'm going to do is take my vellum and I'm going to just lay my vanilla over it and I'm going to lightly trace that circle so I have a guideline of where I'm going to stamp. Now because I have this wood underneath here this is kind of dark to see so I would suggest putting a piece of light paper underneath it if you have the same situation. So I'm going to take my Versamark ink and I'm going to ink up my stamp that has the three 
depends on it. First, I'm going to rub my paper with my embossing buddy. So now I'm going to take my pens and I'm going to center it within that oval. And I'm going to stamp. Now I'm going to sprinkle that with some copper embossing powder. And I'm going to heat emboss that. quickly. It's a beautiful look, the copper. I thought the copper looked really good with the deep, rich, early espresso. You could even use chocolate chip. That would be nice as well. But I thought that the, the copper embossing powder picked up nicely. Because this is vellum, you do want to keep your embossing, um, your heat tool moving so that you don't warp your embossing paper, you don't, um, your vellum, excuse me. Now you can see that when I stamped, I wasn't quite within my guideline here. So with a good eraser, I'm just going to lightly erase that pencil mark. And you won't even be able to see that. bracelet is making noise. I apologize. All right, all evidence is gone. So now we're going to take this vellum piece and we're going to attach that to our very vanilla. So I'm going to put my snail on my very vanilla all four sides and my vellum is going to end up right around here so I'm going to put a piece of um, snail there as well so I'm going to center this up right here so that it falls in the middle of my oval And now I'm going to take this one and I'm going to mount it onto the early espresso. Now you do want to be careful when you're mounting this because you want to line your, bring in this paper here so you can see it, you want to line this opening up with this one here so that it doesn't look uh, you don't see that shadow see what I mean right there you don't want that so you want to line it up and because you cut them together they should line up nicely so there they go right there now before we attach this to the note card we have to do some more embossing so I'm going to bring back my Versamark and I'm going to ink up the stamp that says just a note. And I'm going to stamp that towards the bottom. And again, I'm going to sprinkle that with some copper embossing powder. have any stray embossing powder with my paintbrush I'm just going to come in and remove that I bring in my heat tool again 
And the heat gun is already heated up from the embossing we just did. So this will take just a second to melt. And here it comes. Perfect. Now we're going to come back in with the frame that we made. And I'm going to use a glue pen. I'm going to attach some adhesive. I really should have my silicone mat underneath all this so I don't get adhesive on my workstation. I'm always having to scrub it off. And that is going to just fit perfectly around this opening. Press that down. Now oh, I think I like that transparency. It's kind of when you put it up against your um, your note card, you, you really can't tell that there is um, vellum there. It does give it just a tiny different look. You could say, well, why don't you just emboss it right on this? I just think it looks nice. I like that little extra feature there. So now I'm going to attach that to the note card. And when I put my snail down, I want to make sure I don't get any snail on my vellum because it will show through. And I'm going to center that up right there. And my card is done. All we have to do now is do our envelope. And like I did last time, I did an envelope. I'm going to fold my paper and I'm going to just slip this in like this so that um, just where I want to stamp is out. Um, I do, I mean it is, this does fit perfectly in there. But you never know. I don't want to make. I want to make sure I don't make any errors and get ink somewhere else. So I'm going to. I just cleaned off my stamp with the stamp and scrub. Now I'm going to ink it up with some chocolate chip. Excuse me, early espresso. And I'm going to center this right in the center of the flap. Press down. Lift it up. And there we have a nice, nice touch for our card. And there we go. Isn't that a nice note card to send to someone? Isn't that nice? I think the um, stamped envelope adds a nice little touch to that as well. It makes it a little more special. If you have any questions at all about this project or any of the products that I've used, please contact me through my blog, www.stampwithanna.blogspot.com, and just